everybody and yo what's going on guys it's super mario nickel without the k here on youtube and today i'm joined by mario bros j here over here what's up man how you doing i've been doing good how have you been nick that's good that's good i've been doing well as well so um we have decided since we are completely i guess we have different opinions on sml j uh, likes mm -hmm. old SML very, very much. I mm -hmm. tend to support modern SML, so, you know, you bring two sides of the spectrum together, and we are here today to debate about the best character in SML's history, um, and we're trying to make it as honest as possible with two people here, so, um, Jay, why don't you list off the characters that we've narrowed it down to? Alright, so... I know a lot of people are going to get mad at this because they're going to be like, why isn't my favorite character here? Don't care. Moving on. So, Damn. five characters. <laughs> the five characters that we have listed down have been Junior, Jeffy, Brooklyn T Guy, Mama Luigi, and Black Yoshi. I think this is a pretty, uh, not really an objective, but it's a pretty, pretty, I guess, fair production. Yeah, I mean, me and Jay, you know, we, we both realize that these are like the five characters that kind of, you know, carried SML through their days and, you know, brought them to where they are today. So, that's what we were thinking. Oh boy, so, should we start with the first on the list? Yeah, let's do it. Let's start with Junior. Oh, okay, yeah, you are a much bigger fan of him than I am. Yeah, so Junior, for me is who I grew up watching, for those of you who don't know. Um, I've, I've said this before on my channel, but the first video I ever watched was Bowser Jr.'s Happy Meal, the first one. And, you know, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's like, Junior just really stuck out to me from the beginning, and I might have a little bit of bias towards him, but you know, even at the end of the day, he's one of those characters that, you know, has stuck around for many, many years and has been a main character since he's been introduced essentially um but overall i mean you know junior he definitely is kind of bland sometimes because that's just the nature of how logan voice acts his characters for some reason but you know it's also a case of this man just produced some of the funniest sml videos in sml history has produced some of my favorite videos ever and he's the reason that i still really enjoy sml to this day and so that's why I think Junior deserves to be in this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm the complete opposite way. <laughs> I didn't grow up with the Junior era. I grew up mm -hmm. with the pre-Junior slash classic era, as, as I call it. It's it's kind of hard to rate something you didn't grow up with, considering the fact that Junior is a has been a character for nearly a decade now. Or at least a main character. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the biggest problem with Junior is that sometimes... Not only is his character a bit bland sometimes, but his character is also, also just a bit annoying. And it's something I, I can get used to, but since I watch so much old SML, every time I look back on the Junior and especially modern videos, I just, I'm just uninterested. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's definitely biased for sure, and a lot of you are probably going to disagree with me here. Junior is a fine character. I feel like at his best, he produced, yeah, some of the best SML videos. But at his worst, he produced some of the most bland, generic, and downright awful videos mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Yep. Junior, I feel like, is a very hit or miss character. Yep. At least in terms of, you know, actual appearances in videos and impact on the videos. I feel like on his own, he's okay. But when it comes to relative to everyone around him, he's just kind of meh. Mm hmm. That's, that's, that's just my opinion, so... No, you, you raised some valid points there. Um, you know, obviously, there are a couple things with Junior that, you know, I really like, but I can definitely get by the fact that he's hit or miss. He, he has produced some god-awful videos, but that's also due to a lot of other issues that's more of in the Junior trio. I feel like Joseph has caused a lot of problems. Um... That Junior's kind of been tied to. I'm not saying that Junior's never made a bad video, but it's just like because because the nature of the Junior trio, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of misses. But 
I mean, you know what? At the end of the day, Jay, do you want to consider Junior up there as a potential candidate and not eliminate him yet? Or I definitely consider him a potential candidate, especially considering how big of a fan base he's got. I think you can definitely uh, say he's better than the next character on the list. But I feel like Junior is similar to Mario in a lot of ways, where he kind of needs someone there to bounce off of and actually be yeah. funny. Sure, he's funnier than Mario slash Marvin ever was, but yeah. it's kind of the, it's kind of the Logan effect. Whenever Logan voice acts a character, you that's always just Logan, need someone man. Yeah, there. I don't yeah, know. It, and that's not necessarily Junior's fault. It's just the way Logan does his characters. Yeah, but yeah. Ju uh, Junior is, I'd say he's a top ten character. I wouldn't call him a top five or even top three. He's just a he's a, he's a good character. Uh, if we're including his prime in this, he's he's a pretty good character. I will. All right, that. he's, that's he's, good. He's far, from, he's far from my favorite, but he's, All right. he's not the worst thing ever. Fair enough. Let's move on to the next character, right? Oh boy. All right, now the next character on the list is Jeffy, and I think me and Jay are both going to simultaneously agree here and uh, say that Jeffy should not be up for discussion for the best ever uh yeah the only re the only reason he's really even on this list is because of his uh, importance to the channel <laughs> yeah exactly. that's really his only reason but, here yeah i think jeffy i think jeffy's a terrible character i'm just gonna say it he's probably in my top five least favorite sml characters okay i wouldn't go that far but <laughs> it's, it's a me thing he's okay so jeffy it's hard to say when jeffy first appeared i didn't really have a problem with him but yeah. that was only because he was used so sparingly back in like 2016, at least the yeah, first yeah. part of 2016. Yeah. As he accelerated in popularity though, and we won't even get into the Jeffy fans, that's a whole nother discussion. I feel like his character got worse the more popular he got. Yeah. Because there was that phase in like 2017, 2018 where he did nothing but swear and cuss at the camera. Yeah, yeah. Which, which I feel like is the cheapest way of humor. And... I, I never okay so I never really liked Jeffy. He was always a character I saw as a bit annoying, especially in his early appearances where he's just rock stupid. But um, his modern appearances I argue are worse, and yeah. that's because that's because firstly he's 18, and he should be, not only should he all should he have already kind of been uh, excluded out of the videos, uh, but. <clears throat> Now more than ever, he is starting to show his age and his repetitious jokes. His jokes are so repetitive that it's, it it's is, hard to man. find any of his jokes funny. Yeah. He just, does the, he just does the same thing all the time. Yeah. Like, that That just kind of shows that Jeffy kind of has a lack of substance after all these, like... You know, after all these privileges of being able to swear and yada 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 get taken away, you realize he's not as, you know, not as powerful of a character as he once was, and that's not to say that he was even incredible. Now, I will admit that Jeffy did make me laugh a lot, and I did really enjoy watching Jeffy, um, especially towards, like, the late 2018, 2019. I don't know why, but I just enjoyed it. Um, my thing is, like, to your point, I feel like when Jeffy first was released, and even, like, 2017 as well, like, the first two years, I just felt like Jeffy was kind of too much, in a sense, that, like, there was just way too much going on, he was being pumped out in literally every video, and I remember that... There were some Jeffy videos that I literally just wouldn't watch those videos because they had Jeffy in them. Obviously, I went back to rewatch them, but I would just skip them because Jeffy was the main character, and yeah. that was literally it. Like, I, well, Jeffy was at his height of popularity when I kind of took my SML break. It wasn't directly because of Jeffy; it was some other thing. But I feel like um, Jeffy, and by extension, a lot of Lance's characters rely on shock humor a bit too much. Like Shrek, for example, his whole thing is is poops. <laughs> so shock yeah. value is really high with him. Jeffy's kind of the same way, especially when he was swearing. The 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 humor I think behind swearing isn't necessarily that swearing itself is funny. It's just a shock of it's funny, which I never really yeah. agreed with. But you know, that's yeah, just yeah, fair weird. enough. Yeah, but like even now, it's like Jeffy's just gotten so terrible. Um, I think at least I think there's just many videos where it's just. 
that like you said his jokes are way too repetitive and there's just no more substance with that character anymore um it sucks but it is what it is and i i think jeffy the only reason i don't think jeffy should be argued as the best character ever is because yeah he brought a lot of you know new people to the channel and everything but he also completely ran the channel into the mud and so it's like that's why i kind of i can't justify when there's characters like mama luigi and junior who've both grown the channel so much and didn't run the channel in the mud you know what i mean so it's like yeah, yeah i don't think jeffy should be on here and you know my understanding i don't think you think jeffy should be on here either so yeah and also no by the way um this video is not meant to attack people who like these characters this is just our personal opinion yeah and if you disagree that's fine just don't attack other people for having other opinions yeah we're just here to have a conversation and you know uh there's absolutely no hate towards anyone at the end of the day if you enjoy what you enjoy that's what matters but that's why we're here to share our opinions with each other um do you want to move mm -hmm. on to the third character yes please all right all right so uh the third character we have on this list is brooklyn t guy who you know has kind of been i guess overshadowed for many many years until the pandemic i would say that's when he really grew because I think everybody realized that videos were trash without Pablo and without Brooklyn Guy. And then he became a fan favorite ever since. Um, but in my personal opinion, I just feel like Brooklyn Guy has had way too short of a peak to be considered as the best ever. Um, he's been great, but it's not like even now he's... Okay, he is kind of just the best character right now but i don't think it everybody believes that and so i don't think that like there's enough room for brooklyn guy to be considered as the best especially when his prime's been so short yeah brooklyn t guy is one of those characters that i feel like you're right he was definitely you know a fan loved after the pandemic hit when uh, yeah. everyone realized that videos were basically dependent on chris yeah but i think bef even before that like 2019 he was already starting to be in his prime i'd argue now brooklyn guy is a character i respect more than i actually like because if you really think about it he has the same sort of issues as even jeffy in some cases where his jokes just become sort of repetitive and stupid and not to mention that, but, uh, yeah, and back in the day, I feel like his videos were a lot, well, not his videos, but the videos he were in were, like, a lot more creative, and he added substance. Yeah. Now I just feel like, he just, now he just feels like, um, that guy, he, he just feels like that guy who just, you know. No, I know what you weird. mean, I feel, yeah. I feel like his personality sort of sh uh, shifted a little bit, because he used to be a lot more down-to-earth and, you know, talk sense into other people. Now he just does the most random, just weird things ever. He feels like a kid. Yeah. He literally feels like a kid. Yeah, no, he feels, so... He feels like a kid with a mustache. <laughs> yeah, so I do agree with the fact that um, Brooklyn Guy is kind of out of place sometimes. But, you know, I, I don't agree with the fact that he is like Jeffy in the sense that he doesn't have like any substance to his jokes or anything like that now i don't think brooklyn guy is particularly a funny character but i would say he is an entertaining character because he's he's very diverse i think he's one of the most diverse characters we have right now um which is kind of saying a lot but at the same time it's true it's like i just feel like brooklyn guy it, like i agree with what you said like he just gets plugged into a scenario based on what it is he's just the guy you call to fill in a gap in a video but at the same time he does also provide you know the unique I, I wouldn't say uniqueness but like i think he just does a good job with the variety of like you don't know what to expect with him is what i'm trying to say like you never know what to expect and you know i guess that could be a good thing when a lot of characters now are very formulated i think brooklyn guy's a breath of fresh air in that sense but yeah that's what i think yeah, about a it a lot of the modern sml characters are very segmented 
like a lot of them can only fit in certain in certain situations. Like yeah. I feel like the junior trio can only work as a trio. I feel like Mario, Jeffy, and Rosalina can really only work in the trio that they are. Yeah. Uh, but Brooklyn, Brooklyn is one of those rare SML characters, and realistically, the only character that even appears now. Yep. I, I feel like can be just put in any situation can work with and work relatively well. Yeah. Now, granted, do I like every video he's in? No, <laughs> not by a long shot. No, it's um, fair. But I feel like most of the time, especially in the uh, earlier years, back in like 2019, he's one, he was one of the characters that was actually able to make a video better. Like. Um, yeah. a, a good example, I think, is Jeffy the Doctor, which came out, like, late 2019, where the Dr. video was Jeffy? terrible. Yeah, Dr. Jeffy. Oh, I love that video. I hate that video. That <laughs> video was... I feel like that video... We'll get into that in another day. It was day. so but funny. Like, oh, my God. I feel like Brooklyn Guy was really the only redeeming quality for that video, at least for me. Alright, yeah, in videos that you don't enjoy, in general, I think Brooklyn Guy's a good save in grace, but... Specifically for that video, I found it hilarious, but I know many people didn't. You want to move on to character four? <laughs> yes, I'll let you introduce this one. All right, so this is a this is a bit of a of a blast of the past. Um, this character hasn't appeared in a very 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 long time. I feel like, especially for me, he has to be on here. It's Mama Luigi. Everyone, well, not everyone. A lot of older SMO fans remember him. Um. Mama Luigi is an interesting character because I argue the reason he was so good is because of how little he was actually used. Because he's like Jeffy in a lot of ways, where he does the most random stupid things on Earth. But I feel like the difference from Jeffy that he has is that he's actually funny. <laughs> um, Mama, I know Mama oh, wow. Luigi relies... <laughs> yeah. Mama Luigi relies a lot on random humor, which I know a lot of people don't like, but I really enjoyed it. And he, he definitely... You can't really argue this fact. I feel like he was one of the most, if not the most, influential SML character. And I feel like he shaped SML as a whole. Realistically, he gave Logan his first boost in, like, fanbase and popularity. So without him, you really wouldn't have any other character on this list. Yeah. So... I, I argue he was the best of all time, but that's because not only do I think he's really, really funny, but I also think that given his place in SML's history, there really isn't a more influential character than him. And even though I feel like he's a bit, I wouldn't say overrated, but he definitely gets praised a lot, especially recently, I still feel like he's one of the more underrated SML characters because... Not a lot of people talk about him. Some people do. But those are mainly the old fans who remember watching him like me. Yeah. And him and the next and the last person on this list are good examples of SML characters that sh not only shaped the foundation of the future of the channel, but also, I think, improved the channel's... I wouldn't say really percentage of getting successful, but I feel like they definitely accelerated SML's growth of success over the years yeah especially since mama luigi and the next character i would consider money maker characters which yeah. Junior and jeffy also were yeah i wouldn't call them money i wouldn't call mama luigi a money maker character for some reasons that i won't get into now but he definitely was the character that gave logan his first little boost yeah, his that he boost. Needed. yeah and also i just like zeke so <laughs> yeah. yeah well Here's what I think about Mama Luigi. Um, in respect to the whole debate we're having about who the best character is all time, whatnot, I feel like Mama Luigi is one of those characters that I think was just kind of placed in the wrong time. You know, because here's the thing Mama Luigi, again, not many people watched him. Why, A, the videos were like really old and nobody likes the low quality videos or the style that no, i'm not saying nobody but i mean like most of the new fans don't like the old style and the old you know camera and you know just overall the plot and how videos ran back then um so many people just didn't watch him i um, mean another thing is his time was cut short because you know zeke had to move um 
And so it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like Mama Luigi would definitely have a fair, you know, a fair um, play in this conversation. But for me personally, I can't justify putting a character that's been dead for like, I don't even know how many years. Um, and a character that's had a very short prime, um, more or less, uh, to be considered in this, I just personally can't do that. I feel like it. I feel like Mama Luigi and Brooklyn guy kind of, you know, suffer from the low prime, or not low prime, but short prime. Um, and while I do think that Mama Luigi could have been like a main character for many, many years, it just never happened. And it's one of the greatest what ifs we have ever. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I think Mama. Lu I think what if Mama Luigi never died is one of the most. I won't say talked about, but it's definitely one of the most interesting what ifs. Yeah. I ar I argue with myself back and forth. <laughs> over with okay, so with Mama Luigi's short prime, given what we saw of him that short year process, uh, he was definitely a great character. I loved him. A lot of people loved him back then. But if he stayed, what impact would it have on a channel? Would he become a flanderized shadow of himself like most modern SML characters are? Yeah. Or would he continue his prime and become one of the greatest SML characters of all time? That is yeah. something that I will that I would rather have a, a different debate about. Yeah, that's definitely a long, yeah, very long, very long conversation. For sure, but yeah. For what we got, I think Mama Luigi definitely still deserves a place on this list, just because it's Mama Luigi and he's one of the most important characters, and also yep. because he's funny. And sure. I'd also argue he's better than every character on this list, except for maybe Broken Guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, again, opinions, opinion. Um, you want to move to on to the last one? Yep. Alright, so the last character we have on this list is Black Yoshi. Um, and Black Yoshi is one of those characters that, you know, for those of you who don't know, he's been around for a minute. I mean, he's had, he's honestly been in SML for as many years as Junior if you count, you know, the, if you count the, the years that he missed recently. Um, yeah. He's been in there for a while as a main character. Like, Black Yoshi, to a lot of people, doesn't really serve as a potential candidate. But I think he's got a shot. Like, he's one of those characters that, old and new, he's still really, really funny and can carry videos. Like, he has no issues leading an SML video. And the fact that after so many years, he can still do that is actually mind-blowing. It really is. Um... So, Jay, I'll let you uh, talk about this for a little bit. And, uh, yeah. All right, all right, okay. So, I can already hear the comments typing away. <laughs> Black. All right, I'm trying to word this in a way that won't make people mad. Okay. Black Yoshi. Black Yoshi is a character that I'd argue is pretty overrated. <laughs> it's... It's not because I don't like him. I think, I think old Black Yoshi. So everything from his first appearance to 2016, great. I loved him. The problem I have with modern Black Yoshi, who's Dougie now, is his jokes are really repetitive sometimes. Yeah. Like, realistically, all his character is is just asking for Call of Duty, Kool-Aid, and fried chicken that's all he is yeah but i mean i agree but it's just like i don't know how but he still gets me he still makes me laugh i don't understand how but i don't know it's it's because we have two different ways of looking at videos i look at things more analytically you look more at things more entertaining you yeah. you like you like videos that make you laugh i like videos that well, we'll get to that later well black yoshi I like him. I like Black Yoshi. He's definitely a top 10 character. I don't know if he's top 5. But... That's I feel like the problem with Black Yoshi is that... He was absent for too long. That I think... I wouldn't say he's lost his spark, but I feel like Logan kind of has to re... Re-capture uh, that old feeling he used to have. 
Because Black Yoshi's been gone for like two years. <laughs> yeah, but it's been a long time, and he's only had like what three videos. That's true. After that. But like him, him as Dougie has only had like two or three videos. Mm, I I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I just, all I remember is that when they introduced Black Yoshi again, that was not a good video, but I remember the most recent Black Yoshi video was actually a banger. Like, it, it was nice. That was a great video. Um, well, stepping aside from personal preference of myself, the most biased SMO fan on the planet, I think Black Yoshi is again like those characters like Brooklyn Guy and to an extent Mama Luigi. Where you can realistically put him in pretty much any scenario and he still work. Yeah. Now, granted, his jokes are the same, but I feel like his actions are a lot more diverse. Yeah. Especially with, especially since, you know, Black Yoshi's one of the few SML characters that doesn't really need anyone to work off of. Yeah, that's, so, that's true. That's for sure. Yeah, so I, th I mean, duh, he has, he, he needs other characters because there's not... There's never gonna be an instance where there's only one SMO character ever in a video, but exactly. I yeah. think Black, I think Black Yoshi works on his own because not only is he relatively funny to most people, not necessarily saying I'm, I like Black Yoshi's style of humor, but I think he more than more than anything exemplifies the fact that no matter how old a character is, you can still get a lot of mileage out of him. Yeah. Which is, some, which is something that Logan needs to learn with characters like Shrek and Woody, who's been absent for multiple years, and that haven't come back. I think Shrek's come back recently, but Woody Yeah, he has, so for like a Woody hasn't appeared since like 2018. But, yeah, Black Yoshi and Mama Luigi are two of the best old SML characters, and I think, like Mama Luigi, Black Yoshi did shape the future of SML and kind of made it what it was today. In a way. Because Black Yoshi was the he was a guy that kept sml running after mama luigi died yeah so in that period which was like four years where um black where mama in between where the space where mama luigi died and junior, and junior. started becoming the main character yeah black yoshi kind of carried it through it kind of like struggled it along on a little baby stroller <laughs> Because yeah. during, during that time, the channel was definitely going through some hard times. Logan was growing, for sure. His videos were also really good. But I think without Black Yoshi, it would have been a much slower process to get where we are today. Yeah, because, that's true. you know, Black Yoshi is, is a good character, objectively. I think there's really no get, way of getting around that. I don't hate Black Yoshi. I just think he's fairly repetitive sometimes. But, you know, he's... He's a character that's built off of stereotypes, and I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm not a big fan of stereotype characters, but Black Yoshi's one of the examples that you know proves that they can actually work. So, yeah. you know, Black Yoshi as a character, okay, I like him. Definitely deserves a place on this list at, uh, at least. Yeah, so. for sure. Black Yoshi is. Um, he is a very interesting character. Um, but at the end of the day, I think, I think overall, I think it comes down to the fact that I don't think there's a real answer to this question. And I know that a lot of people are not like, like are kind of pissed off that like we didn't come to a conclusion or whatever, but I, I don't think we're going to sit here and agree on the fact that Junior's the best. Because I know I wouldn't agree on the fact Mama Luigi's the best. I wouldn't agree on Brooklyn Guy. Or Jet. Like, for me, it's Junior. But for you, it's another character. I'm assuming. Yeah. So, yeah. for... Like, it's just... It's not going to work. I think the only way you can look at this is just what have you enjoyed as a fan? And in what era has that been? And then, I guess, everybody has their own opinion on who the best character is. Because... Yeah, I think but, SML, it's very hard to find an objective answer with this. Like, because, I think it's fairly impossible. Yeah, because SML characters are all, like, they're heavily based on their humor, and their humor's so, like, different that it's, like, some people might enjoy one character, whereas another character might not be enjoyable for them. So it's, like, it's really hard to actually come down to the wire and say, like, definitively that this character is the best. So... Yeah, humor is very subjective, and since SML is a comedy-based show, I think it's yeah. very impossible 
to pinpoint an exact, um, good character, like, the best character. Um, I would compromise and say Mario's the best, because without him, we don't have an SNL. <laughs> well, so, no, I'm not gonna... Listen, I, I love my boy, but it's like... I can't sit was, here and say that he is the highlight of. <laughs> he's not the highlight of this channel. Like, sure, he's yeah, based. Yeah. That's what this channel's based on. But was was based on. And then I was to Jay, based and on. Then I turned to Jeffy, and then I turned to puppets. So yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah. But uh, yeah. You guys watching this, you guys can decide which um which SML character is the best. Yeah, for sure. Heated, no, don't, don't get in a heated argument though. Comment down below. Against. Who you think yeah. is the greatest character to ever be featured in an SML video? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, Jay, I want to say thank you so much for uh, for being here today. And yeah, go subscribe to Mario Bros. Jay. And without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel as always if you want to see more of these type of videos these more podcast style videos more like you know just uh debates and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace out everybody